Eivor, you should hear this. Ah, uh, this Bakrat and his friends had the foolish balls to raid Ravensthorpe. Are the others dead? A few. Most of them escaped. They did not damage much, but made off with some of our gear. Should I get Ranvi? No. She has enough on her table. I will handle this. So, you thought you would play at Viking, little man. Are you prepared to go all the way? You won't get anything out of me, Danish scum. I'll never talk. I'm Norse. And what makes you think I want to hear you talk? Maybe I will take my payment in flesh. Chop off his leg. It does not have to be a clean cut. No need to sharpen your blade. No, please! Don't cut off my leg! It was Sir Edward who wanted your stuff. He paid us to do it! Sir Edward? It's the Earl of Westerna! Or, or that's what he calls himself. Said he hates Vikings. Your lot especially. Where can I find this Sir Edward, Earl of Westerna? I don't know. I'm new! We were supposed to steal the gear, then meet at the longship west of Ravensburg. That's all I know! You can take him to Randry now. Maybe we can trade him for a pig. I am off to check out this longship. Sing us a song. Is there a sea scald among you? Zorma of Grantbridge. For a time, all the Eldermen of England wanted her dead. A bounty on her head the size of Yggdrasil. So she met with the leader of the South Gerwins and told their king, Roth, Say that you killed me. Proclaim it to all of the lands. Roth answered, No one will believe me. And Soma shook her head. Invite them. Here. You will burn me on a pyre for all to see. So they came. The nobles of East Anglia, north and south of Mercia of Wessex. They wished to see Guthrim's Valkyrie die. Before all, King Roth pronounced her guilty of murder and sentenced her to death. Then they put her on a boat and set it afire. Yet Soma had constructed a trap beneath the pyre. She released herself into the murky waters and swam to a bramble. Down, Muddied and wet, she waited in the thorns for night to fall. She then returned to Cambridge as a shadow walker. Take the she entered the city and stole into the king's chamber and took the head of Ruff, shouting, Traitors of Soma, wear no heads! The Saxons thought Soma a ghost, a spirit who kills, a curse invincible to fire and death. What a leader, my Soma. Yeah, Strike up a tune. We need an epic tale. Have Monetary. you heard me Over tell there. the tale of the six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You showed them how to turn the crosses into hammers simply by flipping them over. And they fainted with joy. That tale? Uh, yes. Sail. Yes, That's indeed. Catch the wind. <laughs> to launch a raid, dressed as the Raven Clan, and blame us for it. This outfit is still in good shape. I'll reclaim it for our clan. This was a slaughter, not a battle. 
Their wounds are very precise and familiar. The Saxons must have stolen this longship. They added our clan banner, but do not know how to mount shields. You there! What happened here? Who killed the sentries? Not me. Is that a joke? You won't be laughing when I drag you before Earl Edward to answer for your incompetence. I would very much like to meet your Earl Edward. Uh, Captain, I think that's a real Viking. Drop your weapons, Sting, and submit to me! I'm Norse, and you will die for soiling the honor of the Raven Clan. You are true, Raven Clan. My name is Roshan, and we share a common enemy. Sir Edward. The Earl of Westerna is a puppet, manipulated by one called Alcila. A fitting title given her duplicitous nature. She belongs to an order who employ disruption and strive to further their ends. Your clan is a tool in her schemes. I've met such weavers of intrigue before. And those who oppose them. I would consider the enemy of my enemy a friend. Let me guide you to where you can take your revenge on the Earl. Lead the way. If this Alcila seeks to wield my clan's honor as a weapon, she shall find it cuts both ways. Satisfy yourself with the Earl, and leave Alcila to me. Ah, uh, perhaps this task is best left to one who is younger. To one more familiar with these lands. I was killing her kind before you were off your mother's teeth. The Earl's death will draw her out. Leave the rest to me. That blade you wear upon your arm. Where did you get it? It was a gift. From my brother. Truly? Is he a... A great warrior and traveler who discovered many things. And yours? Reclaimed after a long absence. The years without it were the hardest I've known. Your endurance is impressive for one of your years. And I meant no disrespect when I offered to kill the one you... My blade has grown neither rusty nor dull. What I lack in brutish strength, I make up in quiet subtlety. I too can be silent when I choose. Ha! Huh. You may be exceptional among your kind, child. But I am a lifetime ahead of you in that. What do you know of Earl Edward? Why does he hate the Raven Clan so? He blames you for the loss of his title and property. The very land where Ravensthorpe now stands. It was there for the taking, abandoned and uncared for. His quarrel is with those who came before us. It matters not to him. He hates all Vikings and will work with whomever will help discredit you and drive you from England. Who have a better view from atop this tower? <laughs> that is where Alcila and the Earl may camp. At Ravensburg, no less. They will choke on their arrogance. 
Alcila's gold has built up the fort's defenses. It will be no easy thing to penetrate. A challenge for some, perhaps. Less so for me. Do you know what lies within its walls? If I describe what I've learned, could you picture it with your mind's eye? I can do better. Soon in! Listen carefully. The Saxons within the outer wall are less disciplined. <laughs> Relying on their Viking attire to deflect curiosity. They will not notice one more Viking among them. I could use the outfit I took off the dead Saxon at the longship. Very good. Also, some Saxons are engaged in tasks which could help you blend in. What of the Earl? Where is he? Within the heart of the encampment. He plays at holding court. But in truth, Alcila keeps him leashed like a hungry dog. The Earl's death must be loud and unmistakable. A clamor Alcila cannot ignore. So... A silent approach with a noisome finish. This is your counsel. Is your mind capable of balancing two conflicting ideas while orchestrating this necessary distraction? I could kill the Earl a hundred different ways while composing a great song for the occasion. Do you have a preference? In the open, beneath that tree, approach silently. Then kill him in full view of his men. That will draw the spider out. I will create a commotion the guards could not ignore. Good. Will you now don the outfit you took from the Saxon imposter? To better blend with the rest. <laughs> this disguise will help me play the imposter. Be gentle if they spot me. I need to be patient or risk rousing suspicion. They got our colors right.
Did you hear the Earl? We're gonna be rich as kings. <laughs> I'll buy that promise when there's coin in my hand. I want to talk to you. Halt, you! Hey, hold on! Take this! Have you seen that foreign bird, Alcila? Oh, I wouldn't mind a slice of that. Way I hear it, she'd cut you ten ways to next week. This area is heavily guarded. I need to take more care. Alcila's cabin. I will leave her to her shun. <laughs> With the riches we earn from these Viking raids, I will reclaim my lands, and we shall all live like kings. There is the air. To meet with shun. If this venture is to succeed, and it will succeed, People must truly believe we are Vikings. We must adopt the mindset of these murderous, thieving barbarians. We must raid them as they have raided our lands. It's not enough to simply look like Vikings. We must get inside their heads. <laughs> You want to be Vikings? Are you ready to die like a Viking? I am. The Earl is dead! The Vikings are attacking! Alhamdulillah. I have been held hostage by that animal. Come closer that I may look upon the face of my liberator. It is done. Freya's might. 
to be that deadly after so many winters. <sighs> that was a glorious sight, wise one. It was as though Hell, Queen of the Underworld, descended from that tree. Uh, I think I felt her in my bones. And not in any comforting way. Are you... Uh... Uh, I am fine. Though I will pay for that glory later. So, now that your destiny is achieved, will you seek a more peaceful path? Alcida was merely an obstacle on a long road. This is the real prize of the day. I'd retrieved it after I put that witch to rest. What is it? The future. A seed to plant in Jerusalem. So the fates are not finished with you. Does it ever end? And you? Are you satisfied to have achieved your vengeance? My greatest satisfaction is knowing that the honor of the Raven Clan is unblemished, and that my people are safe. As it shall ever be, so long as you are the champion. Goodbye, Eivor Wolfkist of the Raven Clan.